video module on the antenna array basics. And in previous videos, we focus on 5G and ADAS and V2X application. And the type of the antenna element used in that application must be compact and of low profile. So we use the planar microstrip patch antenna element. And in this video, we're going to use that element and introduce an array of them. An array is needed as a result of the demand for increased gain to help reduce the propagation losses due to the fading and the multipath, etc. A need for broader bandwidth, a higher impedance bandwidth, and a smaller size. And the advantage of increasing the gain when using an array comes at the cost of reducing beam width. And from our previous video also, we considered the array element parameters such as the radiation or the gain, the return loss, the bandwidth, and the input impedance, and the polarization, and the axial ratio. When we characterize an antenna array, we use another metric called the antenna array factor, AF. And the antenna array factor is based on isotropic point sources. The isotropic point sources are ideal antennas which radiates the power in all directions. And that array factor provides the orientation and the separation information of the point sources, while the element factor gives the radiation characteristics of that given antenna element. So as we can see by the array factor equation, M is the number of elements, A of M is the relative amplitude of each element, and that controls the element amplitude that helps to find the element half width in the sine globes. Current amplitude distributions can be binomial or Chebyshev or some other algorithm. And alpha m is the phase shift of each element and controlling alpha m enables one to steer that overall beam. Beta is the wave number and beta d cosine theta is the phase shift caused by the element spacing. D is the element spacing, and theta is the angle between the array unit axis and the incident ray. And so the overall antenna array radiation pattern can be calculated by multiplying the array factor with the element factor of a given antenna. And that array factor formula looks straightforward but it does not consider parasitic coupling among the elements that's needed, so consideration of the near-field is also necessary. And the array factor is a far-field evaluation of the array radiation pattern. And the feed network, the electronics, and the environment surrounding the array is also essential. The antenna is not in itself isolated. An electromagnetic modeling and simulation of that antenna element, the array as the environment, is necessary. In short, the performance of the antenna array is dependent on that element parameters as shown by the array factor equation. So, in our next video, let's go ahead and design the array of antenna elements and see what happens. Thank you for watching this video. And to find more information about antennas, HFSS, or other topics, please go ahead and view our channel for more how-to videos on ansys.com forward slash courses today.